Hi, this is Christy with Sapphire Skies Farm. In today's video, we'll be using a Cabonics incubator and we'll be setting duck eggs. Over the next 10 days, I'm going to candle the eggs so you can see the progress of how quickly the ducklings are growing inside the eggs. Each egg will be marked with an X on one side and a smiley face on the other. And then as I'm candling, I'll also mark the bottom of the egg where the air sac is and keep track of how much the air pocket grows over time. The eggs will need to get rotated every day, four times a day with water squirt on them. And they'll also need to take a quick break incubating about an hour each day. The eggs just need to rest at room temperature. We're gonna go ahead and plug them in. And this is gonna beep here. Now it is really hard to see on here, but this is the temperature is gonna start going up. It says the humid humidity is pretty high. That's normal right now because we just sprayed our eggs. So there's a lot of moisture in there. Once that evaporates, then this humidity will go down. It says 92. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Not really. 84, 85. So that's gonna go up. It's been 24 hours. Let's candle these guys. If you're using the Cabonics incubator, you just have to press this negative sign and it turns the light on. Okay, here's our egg. Smiley face, X. I've got them all labeled from one to six, so this is number one. So what you will do for candling an egg is you always go from the bottom up. So let's start here. It's very hard to tell, but if you look very carefully, you can actually see where the air sac is down here on the bottom. I'm going to draw a circle around that so you can see that more clearly in the future because that air sac will grow as the embryo develops. Okay, so now I've used my pencil and I've traced around the outside of that air sac. And then here you can see the yolk. Now, if you end up candling and you have a double yoker, you will likely not end up being able to actually hatch that one out. It's very common that if they do get to the right age, they don't make it. So it's your choice. But if I ever find one that's a double yoker, I no longer incubate those ones. So this one looks good. You can tell that there's just one yolk or egg sac or air sac down here. Looks great. All right, let's check out number two. You can kind of see the yolk wobble around in there. Let's see if we can do that again. So inside of an egg, you've got your yolk in here. And then the yolk is actually attached on either side to the egg itself so that the yolk stays generally in the middle here. And that's usually when you hatch, when you crack open an egg and you see the inside, you see the little white part that kind of looks, I always thought it was like an umbilical cord or something. That's actually what's holding the yolk in place in the middle of the egg like that. Pretty cool. So, this is actually pretty interesting. I've never really noticed there'd be such a good, easy to find ring inside there before. But I really like these duck eggs because I can really see inside this egg very easily. It's very neat. So there's egg number two. I'm gonna do the same thing with all of their air sacs. Egg number three, once again, I've got the air sac marked. And you can see one yolk and that it's not a detached yolk. See how it's floating in the middle? 
that's good and healthy. Four. It's very long. This egg is much longer than the other ones. I was worried this was a double yolk. But this is a single yolk also. Thank goodness. We got egg number five here. Also a single yoker. Sometimes when I candle, I notice little things like this, like there's some straw attached to the egg. Good. If for some reason your air sac is not at the bottom of your egg, you have to be really careful with your eggs. I don't have that. So that is something we'll cover on a different lesson someday when I end up with eggs in that situation. But um, it's important to check to make sure that your air sac is open. So what would cause your air sac to um, be unattached to the bottom is things like eggs that got shooken up too much. The most common ways this would happen is if you have a child who shook your eggs or if you um, bought them and they got shipped to you, then you might run the risk of having those air sacs detached. beauty, just the way it should look. This egg is actually infertile. As I'm making this video, I haven't quite realized this yet, but this will end up being our control egg for the rest of the video. You can kind of see there's nothing growing or moving inside. I think that actually is the embryo starting to go. Egg number two. Your sack has grown since last night. See you there. Egg three. Same, grown a little bit. See that embryo right there? If I move it, just wiggle it just right. Kind of lingers where we are. Egg four. See right there? our last one mark good we'll come back tomorrow and do it all again 25 days till hatch egg one so I'm trying to like shake it this way because I want to see if there's anything going on in the yolk it's hard when it's on that smiley face so sometimes by moving it a little bit I can get the egg to move around a little bit the yolk to move around inside the egg. Okay, so here is something that I've noticed. It's really hard to see on the phone, but I can see right here the first signs of growth. And I imagine those are veins inside there. It's probably not obvious that there is a 
embryo inside there. If I had to guess, I guess that spot right there where it's a little bit darker. But there is definitely some little veins growing in there. Let's check out egg three. Not noticing any veins on this one. Let's see if we can get it to jostle. That doesn't mean that nothing's growing in here. It just means, I mean, this is really early to see anything, right? If I had to guess, I would say that this right here, you can kind of see it as it's moving. That is where something's happening. It's the darkest spot on the whole yolk, but it's still so light. It's really hard to really tell much for several days. Oh yeah, man, I can see that. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, right in this area right here, you can see some veins if I move it a little bit. See that? See, last night I thought I was seeing some of that, but it was so tiny. There's definitely some growth going on in there. All right, that was four. Let's check out five. Yeah, I think I see it in five too. Let's try to get it away from that smiley face again. I don't want to shake it too much, but. I'm going to overcorrect that and see if it comes in. Yeah! Look at that. It's almost a circle. That is super cool. Pretty neat. Keep growing. And our last egg, number six. Oh, yes! Wow! Can you see that? This one's even bigger. It's about there. This is so cool. I'm so glad I decided to make this video. <laughs> so definitely you got your full yolk here, and then you have this circle here. With like red veininess going on. Neat. And our growth on our air sac. All right, guys. I'm gonna let my eggs cool a little bit, spray them, and we'll do it again tomorrow night. Egg number one. It's not really showing any real signs of anything happening in there. Egg two. All right. It's hard to see it. We can get it to clear up. Now we have a big circle about that big with a teeny tiny little dot. Let's see if we can get that to. Okay, this is egg number two, and it is so hard to tell, but there is, in fact, actually a heartbeat right there. See it moving? Pretty cool. So, another thing you can see is that there's a big round circle there and there's like veins going all around in there. But definitely got a little teeny, teeny, tiny heartbeat in there. All right, so egg three here has a circle about that big. It's pretty difficult to see again, but it's there, I promise. So it seems to be a little bit behind the other ones. Okay, so this is egg number four. And it has some circle here and there's a Tiny right there, a little tiny heartbeat. It's very challenging to see it in the video, but there is definitely this tiniest, tiniest bit of movement there. 
That's amazing. Egg five. Okay, we got the same thing going on here. We got the circle here. And then there's the little tiny dot right there. And it's barely moving. But it's moving. This is cool. And egg six. Oh, yep, we got it in egg six, too. Oh, it's even bigger in egg six. Okay, so this is egg six. And I'm going to try to kind of block out some of that. So you can see this. This one seems to be the most obvious. Do you see that? So cool. So what we have here is we've got this circle around here. And then we have a bunch of veins. And then right there, that dark dot teeny, 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 tiny little heartbeat in there. Really cool. Egg number one. Still no growth. But you can see that the air sac has grown. So where it was where this line is here, now it's up here. Egg number two. Wow. So cool. So where we just had a small ring before, and now we've got this huge... So you can tell this whole area is where the embryo is growing and now we have our dark spot which means that parts of the baby is growing in there it's not just a heartbeat anymore likely that is actually the eyeball pretty neat egg three oh so this one probably stopped developing. Oh, that's a bummer. So see how this is just one little tiny dot? Oh, that's such a bummer. Egg four. You can see that heartbeat. So good. Our air sac has grown also. It's great. So we're only at day six of incubation. Beating? Yep, we're beating. Good. Right there. We've got our nice veins everywhere. This one is really all the way over here. Really cool. And then X6. Also developing well. Do we have a heartbeat? Come on, baby. Show us your heartbeat. I think so. There we go. So this is our egg that did not develop at all. It must have been infertile. Egg one. A 
egg number two and it's really going. So now you can really see a clear dark spot. That is the eye of the duckling. If you're doing chicken eggs, it would look very, very similar. You would see a little dark spot. And see all these nice healthy veins going around here. It's looking really good. Egg number three. Okay, so this one we could tell yesterday it had stopped developing. So you can see where there's a dark spot. So there's definitely a baby in there, but it hasn't changed at all in a couple days. So give me another day or two and I'm pulling this guy out. Here's another one, much like egg number two, this is egg number four, where we've got a lot of good veins going around. You can see the eye again in this one. So that's really great. We're doing so good. That's our air sac. Pretty great. Nothing too big, so that's always good. Egg five. Once again, now we can see the little black dot where the eye is. Oh, he moved. That was kind of fun. Hi. Hi, little baby. Looking forward to you joining us. Okay, last one. Egg six. Right there. But a tiny baby. This one looks really healthy too. Lots of nice good veins. So right now we have four viable eggs. Definitely one that didn't have any fertilization happening. One that aborted early. Oh, he's moving. Cute. Little tiny duckling. Okay, this is egg five. It's already moved since I just did this, but I thought it would be really fun as the egg grows, as the baby inside this egg grows, to like keep track of how dark, how big the space is. So, like I said, it's already moved up a little tiny bit, but it was right here, so I marked the size it is. And uh, on this egg, this is egg five, I'll just go through and every s couple days mark the size of the chick or the duckling inside because I think it's kind of neat to see how much it grows. So, And then the last thing I'm marking on these eggs is the next ring of growth on the air sac. This has now been seven days, so it started this small here. There we go. It started this small here and now it has grown that much in seven days. Just showing egg one again to remind you just how much change there will be. Egg one to egg two. I'm candling in the light today, so it's a little bit trickier, but it is really neat that you can actually see this eye moving around here, even though it's not completely dark. Pretty cool, so I can see Probably there's the body back there. So there's still a decent amount of this white, which is good. This is definitely where the yolk was, right here. I'm skipping egg three. Well, I'll just take one last look at it. I'm, yeah, it, it, it stopped developing. So this egg's gonna get tossed today. Got the eye again. Everything's looking good here. Just waiting for a little bit of movement. Here we go. I saw it move. Good. Take a quick look around at it. This is the day that you would normally candle.
after it's been seven full days, 20 days left. And this is what it should look like. It should have a nice dark eye, some movement in here. You can still see where there's a yolk. And definitely all these veins. Okay, egg five. Egg five here. We got our dark spot. We got a little bit of movement in here. These are where our veins are again. Yesterday I marked the air sac. And it's not like a drastic change from yesterday, but you can see a little bit right here that's changed. And the last one, egg six. Oh, that one moved really good. Oh, cute. So we got the eye, we got the body, we got our veins. You can see the air sac down here. It's doing great. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> Getting excited to meet you, little duckling, in 20 days. All right. That's all for today. Egg one. Egg two. That's some good movement. So cute. Okay, we've got egg four because egg three is gone. Look at that. That is so good. Got good movement. Egg five feels like it's a little bit less developed, but still really moving. You can see that nice dark eye right here. Some really good veins. Yeah, overall it's doing really good. It's very easy to see where that duckling is. Here is our last egg. This is egg number six. This one is doing really well. See it moving so much right there. It's so fun. I feel like the veins on this one are very prominent. Really cool. Wouldn't it be so neat if we knew which one was males or females while they're in the eggs? So we could see how they're developing based on that. But we don't. I love watching them dance. As they get older and they get further along, the egg will just start darkening up and it'll be a lot less exciting. But at this stage, you can really see it coming in and out and moving all around. So big. Pretty cute. Egg number two. Man, they grow so fast. So here we have the eye over here, and then I can see this is the back side of the body over here.
nice and healthy egg. Still lots of light. And here you can see we have some more growth here on our air sac. This is egg four. Moving good. There again, you can see the eye here. This is the back of the body. Moving a bit. It's looking nice and good. So fun to see a move. Oh, this is fun. This is the one that I marked on. Mark the size it was. Now it's about that big. Maybe that big right there. Pretty cool. And then last one, egg six. Oh, this one's red and high. It's really amazing how it's just like a regular old egg and then you stick it with some light under it and it makes such a difference. It's pretty cool. Alright, that's all for today.